How do you save 90% of the uh, storage space on your server when using images? I'll just get right to the tip here. You're on Unsplash, you search for a computer, you think you found an image you want to use on your website. You click that image, you download the image, uh, go to it in your finder. So here we have the image and it's 1.6 megabytes and before you upload this to your server I'm just going to rename it for this example 111 AAA and now here's the tip double click that image whether you have a Mac or a PC usually the default image thing pops up and up at the top go to tools adjust size whether or not using a Mac or a PC you should be able to adjust that size now uh, you can't quite see it in my screen but I'm going to adjust it to the large size of my large image in WordPress for me that's 1200 pixels and it'll automatically do the height to keep the proportion now resave it so what I did was I adjusted the size on my computer and now when we click this image it was almost two megabytes and now it's about 100 kilobytes that's about a 90 to 95 percent storage savings now when you go to your website um, and you go to media and we are going to drag that puppy on there now this initial size is 124 kilobytes instead of two. Some of those unsplash images are six, seven, eight uh, megabytes. So that's a huge savings. Let's see what happens on the server. Here we're in our cPanel. You go to your server's file manager. You go to the location of the uploads. and here we have the image that I just uploaded this is the original image 124 kilobytes these are the images that WordPress makes when you upload an image these are the sizes that you choose in the media settings so now you know when you upload an image that's 7 megabytes you are always going to have that on your server unless you change it before you upload it so let's take a look at our uh, settings where is it media and this is where you set the dimensions for your for those copies so these are the these are the copies that WordPress is going to make a lot of people use 1900 or 1920 for this value so if you use 1920 then it would be prudent to only change that photo uh, on your computer this one here to 1920 so if I like this one here if I wanted to upload this to my WordPress site I would go to tools adjust size and I would change this one here to 1920 so that is one way that you can save a ton of space on your server because now when you're getting into your pages and here's my little blank page and I'm going to put an image right here notice you can pick the image size from those options the full is the original that's the one that you just uploaded that has no changes to it and then these are the sizes that it chooses this is a really weird size um, I think it means 768 uh, or 768 high the by zero one I don't ever really use it because I change my medium to 600 and that's ample for three column or two column images so then I choose my medium for 600 and uh, I actually have to use which one do I do this one and I use 600 for uh, two column or three column for a single column I use the 1200 right here 
so that's usually ample size um, but you know like I said a lot of people will end up choosing under settings media they usually use uh, 1920 which is plenty big but you see even if you upload 1920 you're still gonna be way way better off than if you upload something that's uh, some of those unsplash images are like six seven eight thousand pixels wide so upload something a little bit smaller and then let it do its thing change your medium to 600 and then you can choose that for two column and three column and uh, that really helps one more thing if you are interested in full website tutorials go to step by step wp.com that's where I post my uh, free tutorials on making an entire site instead of just uh, individual uh, videos I post all these videos on YouTube but it can be hard to find um, in all of the mess of all of the other videos that I do so if you go here you'll be able to get the um, you'll be able to get the complete WordPress tutorials here it's completely free and um, it's just a lot easier to find here so um, if you're interested in those the difference in my tutorials is that you start with a template a starter site and you get a bunch of pages to use instead of you making them from scratch so by using a template and then adjusting the fonts and the colors and the pictures your site will look a lot better than if you had to make it yourself I hope this uh, little image video was helpful and thanks for watching.